Now, at this point in the programme, I should have been reviewing a film called Flesh and Blood. In fact, I walked out of the film after about 40 minutes, and I'll tell you why. During that time, I'd seen on the widescreen and in glorious colour a couple of wonderfully entertaining moments, such as two lovers plighting their troth under the hanging corpse of a disemboweled man, and a charming depiction of the birth and burial of a stillborn child. And just in case we missed the point of this particular scene, the mother's later viewed walking toward camera with blood pouring down her legs. Now this was bad enough, but the bozos who made this masterpiece then showed us a scene where a young virgin is raped by a group of soldiers. Look at me as I do it, says the soldier. I'll look at you because I like it, says the girl. At which point I decided I got better things to do in life than sit in a cinema and watch this kind of garbage. I'm only bothering to bring this film to your attention because this is no nasty aimed at specialist cinemas. This is a film being given a general release with an 18 certificate. And that being the case, I think you should know what you're letting yourself in for. We asked the film censor, James Furman, for his comment on this film, and particularly the scene where the girl is raped. And Mr. Furman said that a scene where a woman condones her own rape would normally be cut out completely. But in this case, he regarded it as being integral to the plot and could not have been cut out without losing a sense of the story. Well, the problem, as I see it, lies not with Mr. Furman. I wouldn't have his job for anything, but with the people who peddle this kind of vicious, dangerous trash to a general audience. I wonder how they describe themselves when people ask them what they do for a living. <laughs>